about to go eat and check it out and see what kind of good stuff they got, you know? Finally made it to the Nigerian Conservation Center. We're about to go see how it's looking over there, you know. We got canopy walk and all that good stuff. Hello, go away. See this monkey wants to jack my food from my hand. It was a really, really great experience. It was my first time being in Nigeria, so, you know, I was I was really satisfied, you know. I, I did a lot of activities, outdoor activities, and, you know, Nigerians are really cool, you know, like, very cool. The hospitality was very great, you know. They really took good care of me. The food was great. I was actually in Lagos, Lagos Island. I was at Lakey Phase 1. The, so Lagos has different Lagos has different type of islands. So there's the mainland, which is like you know where most people I guess you know so where the where the population is very concentrated and you have the outskirts. You know, so you got the you know say Lagos Island, different type of island area where you know you can you know um, browse around and stuff like that. So I was ma I was mainly located at Lakey, Lakey, Lakey phase one. I say for example, let's say Uber ride, a Uber ride that can take you like 20 minutes, like a 20 minute ride on an Uber, you can probably spend maybe like two to three dollars, which is about 3,000 Naira over there, the currency over there in Nigeria. So, yeah, um, it's very affordable. Lagos is very affordable. I mean, for, for someone who's coming from the US where things are already expensive, and when you go to Lagos or Nigeria, things tend to be a little bit cheaper. The cost of living is very affordable. For the two weeks that I was there, I pretty much spent not even close to a thousand dollars it was really less than a thousand dollars but i was able to you know do all kind of activities while i was there and you know some fun fun stuff the beach was great i went to the beach I, there's a uh, onero beach you have landmark beach which is a little bit different more tourist tourism over there more tourists i should say yeah there's a lot of tourists from you know from all over the world that goes who goes over there and trying to have a good time. Onero is mostly like local people. I wanted to you know, experience the native, you know, see the local people. So I got it. I mean, I I went to both places. I went to Landmark, but I first went to Onero, which I thought I thought it was dope. You know, say I wanted to be around the you know say Nigerian culture, Nigerian people, and you know see see how, how the vibe. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I had a good experience. At, uh, a new beach was really fun. It was really fun. You know, people would chill. A new beach, you can bring your own drinks over there, do your own thing. But Landmark, which is the beach right next to Nero, is mostly like you know, a little bit private. You know, you gotta buy mostly most of the stuff over there. You know, they have KFC. They have um, what else? They have different different type of different type of restaurant different type of eatery where you can go and you know say get you some food they have you know say a couple games you can ride you know say like a four-wheeler atv type of type of motorcycle and you know and a few other stuff and it's very clean too very clean and good vibe it was really dope you know i see myself i i definitely can see myself going back over there and visit more often I feel like the Nigeria got opportunities are over there, you know, since the cost of living is so 
low so affordable you know for a foreigner or someone coming from the state or you know maybe Europe London or whatever because you know a currency a currency can take you a long way over there the narrow good money you know good money and um yeah just I, I, I like the I like the vibe I like the vibe you know people were very cool they knew I was a foreigner I mean I guess they could tell you know say like you know they could tell my from my whole from my whole demeanor and they they were pretty cool I didn't see any any crazy thing out there like some people like to you know put it out there oh it's dangerous or whatever I mean it's dangerous everywhere right now you know it's like you know at least there's no guns in Nigeria or whatever like you know but you know people were pretty cool pretty cool you know easy to talk to they gave me the right direction if I had a question if I was maybe lost or whatever so it was a good experience the food was great you know Nigerians love paper you know what I'm saying most of the food that they cook it has to have paper so I think I gotta adjust to it. I'm not really a big spicy food eater, but you know, I gotta adjust it for two weeks. It was it was pretty decent, it was pretty cool. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Like yeah, it was a dope experience. I mean definitely, definitely, like you know, good vibes.